Hey, right, got to work. And it is pouring. I mean, it's really raining hard. So I'm waiting for it to slow down to uh, get my umbrella out and actually go out there and get to the front door. So I'll be sitting here for a minute. All right, like 10 minutes later. I think it's raining harder now than it was. Kevin and I are out for a walk downtown. We came honestly to get out of the house and to go buy a lottery ticket. So we're going on a regular walk, but we're also, uh, we went around to get uh, uh, the block a different way. And I noticed this says bean building. And I've never, I've as long as I've lived here, I have never in my life noticed that. I think that's really cool. But it's on this, um, you have the, um, uh, we've shown you the engine house deli. We've eaten there and then my mom worked here This was the employment office and she worked there for she retired from there worked there for years and years And then this building is next to the employment office and uh, So I, I just think that floor is so cool and then we have Speedway right here and down there is the, the jail but See, here's the building, and there there was a railing up here, and it was like falling apart. So I guess they're, uh, it looks like they're trying to uh, keep it together up there. So that's interesting. There's a lot of pigeons up over that building. Oh, wow. Let me get a close-up of the pigeons. And they're standing next to the owl. It's probably supposed to scare them away. <laughs> uh, is that what that is? Uh, it looks like it from here. I can't see. You know that. But... Is there an owl up there? Uh, there's something big up there. I've got a close-up of it. What? Yeah, but it's not real, is it? Um, I don't know. It don't looks like a pretty big bird. It's hard to tell through the camera, but... I think that's the fake owl that's supposed to scare the pigeons away. We just got back from the grocery store. I haven't done a haul or anything, but I told you all uh, that um, we, uh, tra at Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, places like that, they're all the way across town, so we don't buy a lot of cold items there. But, and a lot of you suggested that we have a cooler and we put things in a cooler. That's what we do anyway. Um, yeah, this stays in my car all the time. Yeah, the cooler stays in, the, in his trunk. And when we go to the store in Lexington and we get frozen stuff, we do buy a bag of ice. And we bought, um, we bought, uh, these are meals, but we did buy ice cream. And I wanted to kind of show it to you because even after being um, in ice, it's still, it will be a little soft. It has a little, you know, it's not frozen solid. Uh, but this is how we do it. So, but and this is only with like a 20 minute drive home too. If we were to come from like Whole Foods or Trader Joe's, it would be 40 minutes. So I really don't think it's a good idea. Kevin can get meals, but as far as getting ice cream, really we just can't, uh, can't do that. So I was standing here opening this up for Ashley because we don't have room up in the cabinet for all these. And I noticed something that I do not like. These, I thought they were gonna be 140 calorie bags and they're not. It says there are 320 calories for the whole bag. Now, that probably won't bother Ashley because um, Ashley doesn't calorie count like I do, you know, down to the calorie. But that bothers, that bothers me because if, you know, I would have, if I had bought this, I would have been looking for just 140 calories in the package uh, because when you look at it, and that's what it makes it look like. It makes it look like the minis are 160, the sourdough are 160, sticks are 160, and honey mustard is 140. But, um, yeah, 320. I wonder if these are really... Okay, the sticks are 160. The minis are 160. The nibblers are 160. It's those, it's these. And those are, let's face it, that's why everyone's buying these, is for those. Now, it does show the number on here. But that's not the number you're looking at. Your eye is looking at these numbers. So I think they kind of pulled a fast one. I think they should have put the bag's 320. They should have put 320. So 
So anyway, I wanted to show you all that. And this is how they come. I've already put some up in the cabinet, a few. Um, I'm going to put like six of these and then put the box, store the box somewhere else. So when she finishes these, we can put more up in the cabinet. Um, but this is how they look. And I do like that. I mean, I think that's a great idea for a lunch box or whatever. But I just think they, they pulled a fast one when it came to those. I wanted to show you all. I found this show that I really, really like. It's on Netflix. It's called Camp Pay. We'll take it away. And it takes place in the United Kingdom. It's really, really good. It, it's they, they repossess things. There we go. Camp Pay. We'll take it away. And I've only watched the first episode, but it is so good. They repossess cars houses everything so uh, if you all have netflix this is a good show to watch it's 45 minutes um anyway i'm i'm enjoying it a lot well we have a box to open for you this one is from david in scotland i won't say your last name david because i don't know if you want the youtube community to know that but this is from david and he actually lives in edinburgh so, I have no idea what he sent me. He told me that this was coming, but a Waitrose bag. We love Waitrose. I love Waitrose and M&S are my favorite stores over there. Mm, favorite stores over there. But now, I've never been in, in Asda, and I've never been, we never went in Morrison's, did we? We went to an Asda, didn't we? Isn't that that one we went to? We only had like 10 minutes to shop. Was something else. I think that was something else. Ooh, what's this? Scottish Miss Mrs. Tilly's macaroon. It's not like a macaroon, like a cookie. No, it, it looks like a yeah macaroons here. Yeah, like, like two cookies with a. This looks like a flapjack. It has it's dark chocolate and um, it has fondant, coconut. That will be delicious. And we've had a tablet, but it was a different brand. And, and Mrs. Tilly's Scottish tablet. Yes, brands. yes, it was a different brand. Um, I cannot wait to try this though because these were just evil. They were so good. Uh, they they were just evil. Um, I absolutely love them. Elizabeth is Mrs. Tilly, Scot Scotland's number one tablet. Okay. Ooh. M&S Ready Salted Potato Squares. I don't even remember seeing these. Ready Salted. That's what they always say. Well, we're not in Scotland. We never went to Scotland, so. What do you mean? Oh, because we never saw these? Yeah, we didn't go to uh, Yeah, but we went oh, to M&S, so you would, yeah, you would think that, that M&S would have them everywhere. I just don't remember seeing them. They probably had them. But we were probably looking for some weird flavors, you know? So we just looked ready over the red. Yeah, we just looked over these. I wonder why they call them ready salted. That's like what they the always ready say. Ready salted? salted potato chips. They like all already say that. salted? Yeah, they always say that. Just different. Waitrose Dutchy Organic Highland All Butter Shortbread Fingers. We love shortbread cookies, so I can't wait to Here's try these. Here's one to compare. All butter Scottish shortbread fingers. So, so we could try them. So together. we have the Waitrose and the M&S. Yes, and we can compare them. These uh, like have a shell shape on the top. These are the ones that we are usually that we're used to seeing. It's with the little like bumps, like dots. dots. Yeah, the little holes on the top. Last thing. M&S Raspberry Cream Sandwich Fingers. Oh, these look wonderful. These remind me of those, is it a Viennese? It's not the Viennese Whirl, is it? They remind me of some other one that I've seen. Those look absolutely delicious. He was very nice to you. Why was he nice to you? He me? gave you the prices. Raspberry Jam Vanilla Flavor Cream Sandwich Biscuits. These sound so good. He gave you the price in pounds and he converted them over to dollars. Oh, that was so nice, David. Hi, Timmy and Kevin. I enjoy your reviews and travel vlogs with best regards, David. Yeah, and he gave the exchange rate as of August 18th. 
So thank you. I will absolutely use these. That's uh, probably use that. Yeah. It took, it took two weeks, ten days to get here. <laughs> And that's about typical. That's, yeah. that's actually pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. And your box was in excellent yeah. condition. I'm assuming this is how I arrived. I'm assuming it had this piece of like rope attached around it. I'm assuming you put that on there, but if yeah. you didn't, the post office took care of it. Yeah, I, I'd say he put that on there though, and that was smart. Yeah, because, they kept it together. Uh, some of the boxes we've got, I know. Or Silke. Uh, Silke lives in um, Germany. Uh, Germany. Yeah, and her boxes the, get beat up so bad. By the time they get here, it looks like somebody just put it on the floor and just kicked, kicked it, it around. It. Yeah, it just looks <laughs> awful. Yeah, going to America. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it looks like. So they <laughs> dropped it off the truck. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, they're beat to death. So, yeah. so that one looks pretty good yeah, coming pretty all good. the way from Scotland. So, thank you very, very much. I have no idea. Um, how we're gonna put this together the what's gonna be together, but you will see reviews definitely We really appreciate it. I Just got this package in the mail and I know what should be in here. So I wanted to open it with you all um, Normally, you know when we have packages or whatever Kevin is here with me, but this one's different This isn't sent from anybody. This is one that I ordered for my for myself Yes, this is, what this is so exciting. Oh. When we were in England, the first four Mr. Man uh, Doctor Who books were released. So when I was over there, I bought all four of them, and I don't know why they don't, they aren't released in order. It kind of drives me insane, actually, because. I would like to read one, two, three, and four, and then five, six, seven, eight, and then, you know, read them in order. That makes sense, okay? I don't know why they're not doing that. Maybe because they, they thought they would put out the most popular doctors first to get people to want them, but real Doctor Who fans, and especially Mr. Men fans, right, um, are going to want these books. So, no matter what, I would have been buying them, but here they are. We have Dr. Eighth, Dr. Ninth, Dr. Second, I love his hair. <laughs> it reminds me of one of the Beatles. And Dr. Seventh. So, I will be reading all of those, and of course I will read, I will read the second and then 7th, 8th, and 9th. Um, but, uh, yeah, I will be reading all of these for the channel, um, and I might even have already read one or two of them and have released them by the time this vlog goes up. I don't know, because um, I'm just really excited about them, so I hope you all enjoy them, too. I get excited about uh, books in general, and then especially these kinds of books, and... Um, uh, yeah, this is just really cool. Dr. Eighth is kind of scary looking. He kind of reminds me of Frankenstein because they made him green and then he has those boots and that hair. <laughs> he kind of, kind of resembles Frankenstein. So anyway, there are going to be, there's like four more and we put them like in our Amazon Amazon card and we, we pre-ordered them. So whenever they are released, we just automatically get them in the mail. So that's how I got them uh, so quickly. So hope you all enjoyed getting to see those. So we were walking through Walmart and our Walmart does not have like a pet department with like hamsters and birds and stuff like that. But we were walking down the aisle and we saw that they have fish. They have a live fish. Now, what Kevin and I are wondering is how long will they stay alive? Because you know nobody's coming well, over here to feed them. In and it down there. Oh yeah, it looks like they're supposed to feed them through there. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, there's something. It looks like they're, that is amazing. We had no idea that they had fish here, and that's actually really pretty. You, yeah, you got an orange one, so we just didn't know. Oh, there's a blue one. Let's see the blue one. I feel bad for him being in this little container. That uh, that one looks it looks filthy. Oh, that one. 
That's pretty. I just feel bad that they're in these little containers and who knows that they're here. Do people know that they sell fish here That's in just the regular Walmart? These are males. Males. That's neat. We just, we, we didn't know. I love that autumn one. That autumn oh, one is what? Oh, that smells good too. They would love that in your office. If you got, if you could get that scent for your office. What is that? What? It's the the uh, cider, oh. cozy cider sipping. Right. Yeah, it, but you don't have a glade thing, do you? You do it work? Though that's a good smell. This look, no, I don't have a glade. I have airwick. Those are different. Airwick? I wonder if Airwick has any out for fall. But you have cinnamon apple. Oh, that's a great value. I didn't know great value had their own. We have a box to open, and I know what's in the box, but since we always do box openings for you when someone sends us things, even though I know what it is, I wanted to open it for you. This is from Josh in Minnesota. And I also want to give Josh the credit for sending it to me because I really appreciate it. These are the M&M Cookies and Scream Dark Chocolate and White Chocolate M&Ms. I cannot wait to try these. What I'm going to do, I have the um, White Pumpkin Pie. M&M's and I'm going to put these from Josh with the white pumpkin pie M&M's that we already have and I'm going to do the review together and you'll have already seen that before you see before this, you see this. Vlog. Yeah, because it's something new and when it's new like that then I try to get them out as quickly as possible so that it'll give you an idea of what they look like and if you want to buy them or not buy them or whatever but while I have Kevin captive he has no idea I'm going to ask him this I want you to tell them about your book. book. The book that you're reading. I want you to hear about this book. He was telling me about this book the other night and know. it is it's the most all, huh? interesting, to me, this sounds like the most interesting thing and Kevin's always worried about sharing books because he doesn't want to bore. He wouldn't want you all to get it and be bored or something like that. But to me, it sounds really, really interesting. And he's been reading it on his uh, book reader. Um, I'm reading my MC Beaton books at night, and then he reads this one. What's, <coughs> what's it called? The First 15 Lives of Harry August. Okay. Tell him what the premise is. The deal is, this is a person, Harry August, that is born just like everybody else, and uh, for the first time. Because it's 15 lives is what they're writing about. There may be other lives in other books. I don't know. Right. But um, um, he basically lives an entire life. I mean, he, he lives from birth until death. Whenever he dies, natural causes or whatever. He's run over by a truck, whatever. Um, and then he's reborn at the exact same time and lives his life over again. So he's, he doesn't like go in the future. He's not reborn as somebody new. He's always himself getting reborn every single time. So he goes around in circles. Um and what I tell you is about three or four years, between three and four years old, they have full memory recall. So for the first three years, they don't really remember anything about their, their being um, alive before. But between three and four years old, it all kind of comes back. And by the time they're four years old, they remember everything that they've lived in their, in their previous life. And Harry just happens to have photographic memory as well. So if it'd be like me, I would remember half of what I can't remember what I had for lunch yesterday, much less than anything else. He has photographic memory though, so every life he leads, he remembers 100%. So 
It's been interesting. It's so different. I, told, I asked Kevin, I said, so is it like Groundhog Day where if he learned to play piano in a previous mm -hmm. life, would he remember it in his next yeah. life? And Kevin said, yes, he yeah. would remember it in his next life. Because yeah. he, he, in one of his lives, he's a doctor. So he, he remembers all that stuff. So not day. everyone in the world is like this. No, it's he's just special random people. For some reason. Yeah. They gave a number one in like a million or something like that. It was like this because there's, I won't go into detail. Because if you want to read it, I don't want to spoil anything. But there's there's others out there that do that do this too. But, they, but you don't know you, you don't know who's doing it because you usually don't want to spread it around that you're you know you're reliving your birth because people think you're crazy right so. right <laughs> people would think you're crazy but i think that would be the neatest thing like if i died right now and i was reborn and i could do you could do your same life over again then you could choose which parts that you wanted to do, do over, different, you could do or, or different path yeah or, yes you could choose a completely different path or um yeah it's a whole new it's a whole do-over and some people say oh i would never redo anything but i bet you there are some things that you would do differently i mean even if it was something simple as studying for a test or something you know i just think there's you're gonna make there's gonna be differences oh yeah tons of differences yeah i think you would make completely different life choices because if you lived okay this is gonna sound make, awful this is gonna sound horrible if I've lived one of my whole lives with Tammy, been happy my whole life, it's been a very wonderful life. It's yeah. been very happy from, from the time I met you to the time we die together, right? Where are you going? It's, yeah. been, it's been very happy. Would I choose the same path that maybe got me to that same place again? Probably not the second time. Because the things, there's very specific things that had to have happened in my previous, in this life to that got, got me to yes, that. Yes, yes. And even one thing you change may direct you a different direction. Yeah, that's very true. Plus, like I said, you've already lived one full life with this person. Maybe you want to live a different a life with somebody else. That's what know. I was wondering if you were going to say that. On purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Intentionally not go that way. But seriously, you might. I mean, you know, you've lived a very happy life. You're starting over again. Why not do it some other way? I know people get tired of, I'm um, sure, hearing me talk about food and stuff like that. But I think that would be... Um, I think weight gain would be one of my different choices that I would make because there was a point in my life where, you know, I was a, a great size and had this great body. Exercise, I was, I exercised. And so let I, it just, I just let myself go to pot, you know, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, and just, I wouldn't do that again. I would watch my calories from, from uh, a younger age to so that I wouldn't well I mean <laughs> I who think wants to be, who if wants I'm gonna to live again I'm gonna live a whole other life again I'm gonna eat whatever I want I'm gonna weigh 800 pounds and die of obesity at least one of my lives <laughs> okay okay <laughs> at least one of my lives I'm gonna just okay. do whatever I okay. want okay I get what he's saying because you're you're if you can come back as many many times as you yeah, wanted over and over. then that would be awesome to like eat cake from the time you got up to the time you went to bed i i completely die when you're 30. okay oh well you, you're born again you're coming back again i okay i get that that's a shallow because i was thinking of it being like a one time but it's not yeah, it's not it it's not you have to live your perfect life it's no. you can do it all yeah you're born a baby and you grow up just like you always so you could go crazy you could be live the craziest life you wanted to and yep. and do commit every sin in the world and when you die you're just going to come back again yep. yeah it's That's interesting i don't know where it's going to go i'm only like halfway through it. i don't know where it's going to go from here so and there may be other books too i don't know who wrote it i don't know there's no easy way for me to look at the cover well maybe there is I hate to lose my place. Oh, don't lose These e ebook readers okay. kind of Because people can look it up. They can look it yeah. up on Amazon. The 15 Lives of Harry August. So. Yeah, I just thought that sounded neat. And it's an we were talking idea. about it the other night. And I said, I want you to tell people about that because a lot of you all are interested in, in the books I'm reading and uh, newer books. Not everybody wants to read a um, romance or a, a yeah. murder mystery. So Kevin reads a lot of different books. Well, maybe you can put a link in the bottom. So they won't have to remember that. Like a link in the description? Yeah. I can put a link in the description. Just yeah. The, yeah, just, I'll put a link in the description. Just so, can, just so you can see what it is. Yeah. But Josh, thank you. They got here safe and sound. They're not melted or anything like that. So thank you very, very much. Well, I got another flag in the mail. 
and I wanted to share it with you all. I have to be careful opening it. This is the last one that I ordered and um, I might, depending on how heavy duty this is, I might actually end up taking George the second down out front and I might actually hang this one up out front. Um, this is the United Kingdom Royal Standard. And it just depends on how heavy duty it is. Ooh, it feels nice. I don't remember how much this this was. Oh yeah. Yeah, and see, um, do I have it upright? This is this is the one, uh, this one is for Scotland, and this is the one that we have uh, that Andrew gave me, um, and it is hanging out back already, so you can see. But that's the one flown in England. Yes, this is the one flown in England. The England, one in, Wales, Northern Ireland, and right, somewhere else. Right, uh, the one in Scotland is, it has this. It has two yellows. Right. And then um, only one of these. The one of the red. And then the red, the harp, I mean the blue harp is also there too. So, so what do you think about hanging it out front? And it, this oh, one. Oh, it's heavier and bigger than the one out it's front. It's bigger than the one out front, the heavier one. duty. The queen is definitely in residence, that's for that's a guy gone shirt. That's what we, <laughs> when you see this flying, that means the queen is in residence. So I think it's very appropriate yeah. if we hang this out front and then if we go on vacation or anything like that years from now, whenever, we can bring it inside. Well, we have to bring it inside because the queen won't be here. Yeah, the queen won't be here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take George down and we're going to hang this one up. We got a Walmart ad this week, and we don't always get a Walmart ad. Actually, there are few and far between. They actually come when there's going to be a holiday, and since this is a um, since this is a holiday weekend, did I skip a page? Yep. Since this is a holiday weekend, they sent us one. So you, we're in Walmart all the time, so really there's not anything that they could show me that would surprise me um, just because I, I feel like I see it all. Hey, they have that yogurt that some of you want Kevin to try. Um, $1.34. I don't know if he'll be trying it because of the calorie count. He, um, hey, we just saw these earlier in the video. No yogurt. Um, no yogurt? Is that what you're saying? Not right now. He goes through periods uh, where he's into yogurt and then periods where he's not into yogurt. But what surprised me in this ad was when I got, I haven't finished the whole book, but I got to this page. And this is what stood out. Layaway, September 1st through December 14th. Wow. It, I know, that's what I'm thinking. It's already time. Is there to, anything in here I can put layaway? No, no. Any TVs in here? There, no. There, oh, yeah, there's a TV I can put layaway. Right there, there's a $1,000 TV. We can put that in layaway. We do not need I that. I want one of those. What is it? A Nintendo Switch. Because I play a lot of video games and stuff, you know. On the games. yeah, you play. <laughs> he plays a lot on his computer. What game are you playing right now with Andrew that you love? Path of Exiles. Path of Exiles, and uh, he and Andrew. That's a good price. I want a Roku. Roku. For we months. absolutely we have a Roku in the bedroom and in the living room, and we love our Roku. We would yeah, not be without the Roku. I I would recommend those to anybody. Sorry, I didn't need to hide that. No, you didn't. Um, <laughs> are we gonna hang that flag out? No, okay. Uh, so I wanted to show you that it is layaway time, which I find uh, hard to believe. Uh, just we haven't put anything in layaway in years, but I remember way back putting uh, car seats and strollers and. What the world's an R two D two, a robot droid inventor kit. Hmm. Oh, hmm. Interesting. I wouldn't have the patience for that. We haven't had layaway since gosh. I know that's Kmart what I'm saying. Was yeah, since Kmart was around and Kmart did layaway. Huh? I don't care if our neighbors think we're crazy because they probably already do and people who people who live here probably already think we're crazy. That's okay. Some most people won't even know what that's for. That's a heavier flight. So Tuesday morning 
has gotten some of their Christmas stuff out and they have uh, all kinds of Christmas cards. They have beautiful Christmas cards. If you want some that have a vintage look to them, um, these are beautiful. Only $4.99, and they have a lot to choose from. I, I've had a lot of these vintage looking ones. And then they also have their um, tablecloths, table runners, and they have soaps. All of these soaps, they smell really good, but then they're so big that we end up, um, we don't really use them. It's a countdown. I wonder what you put in it. I don't know. Usually you have something. I don't know. I don't know what you. Yeah, I don't know what you put in that. Mm-hmm. Those are cute. Those would be cute sitting next to the fireplace, wouldn't they? Yeah, one on, like like one on each. Yeah, on one on each side. That would look yeah. up at the up at the top. Yeah, on the mantle. How much oh, do you think they? Oh, either either way, I think it would look cute. Little grumpy cup. Oh yeah. We got a turkey. <laughs> oh, those are uh, uh, stockings. Yeah. Um, they have a bug. Sad bug. What is that? For eggs? Double egg plate? Yeah. Put in the middle. I never knew what you put in the middle. Relish? Some people put relish on their deviled egg. It's Monopoly with the uh, uh, with the princesses, yeah. And you open and play. It says those are neat. Oh, that's completely different. That doesn't even look like Monopoly. Where's the board that you go around? Oh, oh. And then the houses, I guess the houses are like... It's like a really small, compact version. Yeah, I wonder what this one is. Oh, it's an art thing. Yeah, you make a necklace. Pieces are missing. I mean, well, they fall in. There. I'd say they're still there, yeah.
at Home Goods and they have their Halloween stuff out. And I'll try to show you as much as I can. Oh, look, this that's a cake plate. This is really low. Yeah. That is so cool. That is a cake plate. It has a Frankenstein and a mummy and a witch. That is so cool. And it is only $12.99. They have dog costumes. Um, I like this one. Yeah, I like this one the best. And they have it for big dogs as well. Really big dogs. And they have these uh, party collars too. Of course, they have the hot dog. And they have a hamburger. That's cute. I had a cat in that hot dog one. And this one? Yeah, good luck getting a cat. Yeah, you wouldn't get our cats in that. <laughs> Thank you. 
is one of those things that uh, Silke sent me, but it's for Halloween. How much he is? He's adorable. I think a ten. Yeah, that's not bad at all. It's cute, isn't it? Kevin, you do not have to get him. Uh, did you see the clock? The clock is pretty that's cool. Pretty cool. For ten dollars, we gotta get him. Look at him, he's pretty cool. They had something on the other side of this that looked neat. Oh yeah. It was something over here. Yeah, a couple things over Oh yeah, that bust of that woman. With the mask on. Yeah, I like her. She's cool looking. Yeah. Now look at the bust. Oh, yeah. Does that one get you I mean, this one looks like it's a good one. Yeah. Pick whichever one you want. This one looks fun. I don't see that one. Sometimes you get Yeah, you can put this on the mantle, the other one. Uh, this is huge. This. Yeah, I see that. Skull bubble. Skull bubble. You see this big, my beloved. Uh, did you see that? Yeah, but that's not Halloween. <laughs> now this is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's a smaller one. That's a, she's neat. I like the big one. You like the one with the broom, or do you like the one with the poison? I like the one with the broom. Although that'd be cool to have two of them sitting next to each other. We do not need two of them. <laughs> you see that? I saw that.
pumpkin scented hand soap. How can you wash your body with charcoal? It, they do. <laughs> People love it. Pumpkin vanilla. Pumpkin souffle. Pumpkin garden. Sweet fig. Sense of fall. It is Saturday. Happy Saturday. And we are in Lexington, but I thought of a couple things that I wanted to tell you about. We watched two movies and uh, one of them I would actually recommend to you. Uh, one of them was called The Circle, and it has Tom Hanks and Emma Watson. Emma Watson. Emma Watson. Emma Watson's the main character. She's the one that plays Hermione in the Harry Potter movies. And, and forever we'll be known for that. For, yeah, <laughs> Hermione. She's always Hermione. I'm sure she loves that. Uh, hey. She should, I'm sure she's, she's saying, got a lot of money for her. Um, so we watched The Circle, and I actually really liked the movie. And can you tell them how yeah, much the book was better? Though. Oh, there's a book, yeah. Oh, I didn't know there was a book, yeah. Okay, can you tell them quickly what it was about? Um, which is basically it's kind of like uh, Apple and Facebook, all of them combined into one and trying to basically take over everything. Take over, remove, remove all privacy. Everything's connected. Everything's open. They they have this thing. They have her drink this liquid, and um, then yeah, it's a tracking device. It, it's a tracking device. But then they have this thing. It's called going transparent. And when you go transparent, you basically it would be like me vlogging, but it would be like me vlogging all day long. It would be. Wow. Me, Literally, live yeah, live streaming all day. You, like me having a camera attached to my body and you all seeing everything that I see, the people that I see, things that I experience, it would be all day long. Uh, because the point of it is that you act, that you are a better person when you are being watched by other people all the time, which I completely agree with. It's I kind think of hard to commit crimes when you are watching. Exactly, you can't commit a crime, you can't uh, uh, murder or steal or rape or whatever if you're being watched all the time. So I don't think it's a bad idea. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like a little bit more privacy than that. Kevin likes a little bit more privacy, but I feel like I'm pretty transparent anyway. I feel like I don't, I don't hide a lot now. I don't. There's, there aren't a lot of secrets that I have. So there's just not. Uh, so she did turn it off when she went to the bathroom. When she yeah, went to sleep. when you go to the bathroom, when you go to bed, things like that, you do turn it off. But anyway, I thought that was a good movie. And then there's one that we watched that I will not recommend, and it is called Nocturnal Animals. As a matter of fact, I didn't even know if I was going to tell you all that I watched it because the movie starts out with. <laughs> Dancing, people it. dancing but it's not sexual at all it's not there's it's, there, it's people dancing naked it is full frontal but well they're women dancing. they're women but it they're they're um uh they're morbidly obese women and it's supposed to be art and you know one person's idea of art is not another person's idea of art. These are things that Kevin was like, this is something like you would see in the Tate Modern. That, and it is. Um, but, uh, oh, there's Pier 1. Um, I would not recommend it, though, because it's one of those movies that just drops at the end. And I don't mind telling you that. It literally, it stops and you're like, okay, where's the rest of the movie? And I'm not giving anything away by telling you that because I haven't told you anything that happens in the movie. I would not, I would, I would not watch it. I would not recommend it. I will not watch it again. Uh, it's just, and of course it's rated R, but it just, no. Um, we haven't been in Barnes & Noble in a while. I wonder if they have any Halloween stuff. 
So, um, we're over here. We're, we're looking for specific things. I have some things on my grocery list, of course. But while we're out, we're looking to see if they have um, any Halloween stuff as well. If they have anything, I'm trying to film it. But it's kind of hard because we're over here on a Saturday. And so, everybody and their mother's over here. On a holiday weekend. On a holiday weekend, yeah. So, we're going in Target. Out of candy. One side says trick or treat, the other side says sorry we were out of candy. You can put those on the door. I'm going to cook a turkey. There's a, somebody on YouTube that wears those all the time. She says that they're to, uh, she, she usually uh, uses them to put her, her makeup on to hold her hair back. Yeah. But uh, she wears them all the time just because they're cute. No wood pumpkins. A cat knows. It's one of the fright man. Are those two? Oh, they light up when you're that's walking around. Look, trick or treat. Oh, that's, that's cool. I like those. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'm assuming you turn it off and on. Yeah. I like that idea a lot. It's a little rubber band. Or it's kind of hard plastic. Those are good. Yeah, you make it. You just make it whatever you want to. And then houses that you can paint. Stickers. <laughs> The window cleans. That's cute. I have a skeleton. Too. Oh, yeah, I saw the skeleton. We are in at home now because Target hardly had any Halloween stuff, but I figured I've already done a video of uh, ornaments this year for at home, but now they have all their Christmas trees out, and I thought you all might want to see. I thought you all might want to see some of their Christmas trees. Yeah, this one's upside down here. Um, let me see. Yeah. Yeah, this one's literally upside down. <laughs> um, but they have all kinds. Oh, look at this. Look at the rainbow one. Isn't that cool? We bought ours two years ago. And you could get you could get these for Halloween. You could even do the red for Halloween. I tell you what I want is one of the 1950s. Um, what are those called, babe? Those trees, those like. No, they're like tinsel trees. What are they called? Are they called tinsel trees? I want one of those uh, to put all my old ornaments on. I would put all my antique ornaments on that tree. That was too tall. That's too tall. It's 10 feet. Actually, I like that one better. You wouldn't have done that for a long time. Well, no, I, that's to sit on the tabletop. I still would like one of those. No, I'm talking about one of those 1950s trees the with the with the the tinsel looking what look at them look at these stockings they have this is for the navy and the army and yeah. the air force the i don't see a marine they need a marine corps one those are really nice though they're only 13 dollars each and then this is what i wanted to show you Major Mega Santa Claus. It's $179.99 is how much it is. 
That is huge. That's like as tall as our house. <laughs> it does seem like it would blow away. I think it's out for, I think it's for a business. Don't you think that's more for a... I like the snowman better. You like the snowman better than Santa? They also have a nativity scene right there. The pig, I saw the pig, I thought, yeah, okay. They have a little dog. This one's arms move. Oh, he's a hugging snowman. Yeah, he puts his arms together. So those are all different prices. Like the polar bear is only $20. The, the snowman that hugs is only 99, so I don't think that's bad at all. Here are the inflatables for Halloween. I like, the, uh, I like Jack Skellington. <laughs> the minion coming out of it. Look at this as a pirate ship. <laughs> yeah, that's an octopus. I like the skeleton. I mean, it's, I mean, oh, uh, pumpkin. yeah, the pumpkin. It no, it might be around the other side. A dragon? Ooh, a dragon. I like the dragon. That's a big dragon, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> and then over here you have Christmas stuff. I want to see how much these uh, nutcrackers are. Okay, I really, 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 really want a net, two nutcrackers, one for each other door. Yeah. How much do you think they are? They're $300 each. Yeah, I, but, I was gonna say but I mean, I understand. That's 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 worth $300 each, but that is so nice. Yeah, those are a lot bigger than my food. This stuff. I don't know why you have the same price for that when I get them up. Yeah, that's either you could get this one for $300 or you could get one of the bigger ones for $300. These are nice too. These are only thirty dollars each, and then the big one is eighty dollars. Don't you hate it when you're at a place like Culver's and you're supposed to pull on up to get your order, and the person in front of you will not pull up all the way? You're supposed to pull up when you leave the window, and they give you a number. You're supposed to pull up as far as you can and then they will walk your order out to you and it will not get that cold in like the 10 seconds it takes for them to walk out. So I just think it's funny that uh, people are like, well, I don't think it's funny. It's annoying. Luckily, they told us to stay at the window because we just ordered um, two small orders of uh, french fries. I'll show them to you when they get here. Not small, but they're just regular. We just got two two regular orders of the uh, crinkle. crinkle fries from Culver's. And that guy that I showed, that truck in front of us, he actually was up as far as he could go. There was a, tr a car in front of him, but she hadn't pulled up. Yeah. So there was like tons of room in front of her and she was just sitting there. It's still an issue. Yeah, it's still an issue. It was not his fault. Right, it wasn't him, but I didn't show his driver's license anyway. Um, but you can see we're big spenders. Um, we just get something to snack on until we get back home and then we'll eat uh, something better we'll eat something better for dinner because believe it or not it said on there the marquee that these are 360 calories for just this without any burger with it so I think that's a good snack don't you hold me over for dinner so Kevin and I did all that, uh, did some shopping in Lexington, and I wish that I could have shown you more at Target, but Target didn't have anything else out. Uh, just like the the dollar spot, I think that's what it's called, or the bullseye, bullseye bins or something like that. They used to be the dollar spot, but now a lot of them are $3, so they can't call it the dollar spot anymore. But they had some cute stuff, but then when you went to the back, 
they didn't have anything in the back at, no. our, at our Target. It was all still school supplies and. I'm surprised they don't have costumes or Star anything. Wars. There was a There's whole, a whole section. row of Star Wars. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's cool stuff, but I wanted to see some of the Halloween stuff because I've seen things, pictures that other people have taken on Instagram, and I wanted to see some of that stuff. But I did take a picture. Um, I thought it was neat. We went in Walmart, and I've, I've never noticed it at our Walmart. They might have it. We were in a Walmart in Lexington, and at their, um, the bakery counter, they have all kinds of mini desserts, which is cool. They had like a uh, pineapple upside down keg in these little cups. I think they and, have a few at ours, but I'll bring Yeah, and it, just these little neat desserts, and if you turn them over, they have the calories on them and everything, which I think is really cool, but they had a Patty LaBelle uh, banana pudding dessert, and I took a picture of it, so I'll insert it here. But I think that's so cool that they have a, the Patty, literally the Patty LaBelle that's dessert in those cups. The banana, the banana pudding, it was very, very good. I liked it. So we came back home. We, we had a box in our P.O. box. I have no idea who it's from. The, all it says is easy shopping on the from California. from California. So we have no idea who sent it. So it came in a bag. It came in a bag. And then it's a post office box. So and then I opened this up and it's a post office bag inside of the post office box. Weird. Okay, that's 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 odd. It's like they were going to do a flat rate, or they just didn't want it to break. You know, a lot of times when we've been in line at the post office, yeah. and we've gotten something uh, weighed, they'll say it's cheaper if you put it in this box. Right, so, so they could have had this. Right, and they'll say, oh, it's cheaper if you stick it in a box. So what is it? <laughs> who sent those? I don't know. You don't know who sent them? But you see a note on here somewhere that I don't see. There's literally nothing. No note. Mystery. Mystery gift giver. Oh. Do you look on there and make sure there's no little post? No. Something I missed. No. Look, no. There's absolutely nothing. No. Well, thank you very much to the, to the mystery person who sent the apple pie Oreos. Uh, we will be trying these immediately. We're going to try these right now. And um, so, yeah, by the time you see this video, the Oreo video will already be up. And thank you to whoever sent these. I really, really uh, appreciate that a lot. So we are at the end of another week and uh, it's, it seemed to go, it, it went by fast. It really did. And it's a holiday weekend. So everywhere we went today, it seemed really busy. I mean, like super busy, like Target, it was like, we haven't seen this many people in Target since like Christmas time, it seemed. But Kevin reminded me it's a holiday weekend, but I don't see why, just because it's a holiday weekend, why would more people be out shopping? I mean, it's it seems like the same amount of people would be out shopping this week as they are any week. But it just seemed everywhere we went, it's like people were out. Um... So, but I hope you enjoyed getting to see the Christmas trees at At Home and all the blow up stuff and everything else that I showed you. They, uh, it's, it's kind of hard to film when there are so many people out because I don't want to film anyone's faces and I try to be very, very discreet. I guess I should go out on a weekday if I don't want that to happen <laughs> instead of on, on the weekend. So, I thought I would tell you about a couple of other shows I've watched. I watched the first episode of The Good Place. I haven't watched any more. I've just, I've just had time to watch the first episode of that. I watched the first episode of Atypical, and that is on Netflix. The, uh, the Good Place is on Netflix. Atypical is on um, Netflix. Um, that Camp Payer will take it away. I watched... I'm in season two of that, and there are only two seasons on there, which I hate because it's such a good show. I really like it. Uh, just, you know me. So, I mean, if it's from the United Kingdom, I'm going to like it. So, um, really enjoying that. Um, oh, and Big Brother this week. Big Brother this week was so... There, there's this guy on there named Kevin, and he's the oldest person in the house, 
and I have never seen anybody do this in my life. He was standing there and he was brushing his teeth, brushing his teeth. He rinses off his toothbrush, takes the toothbrush and starts combing through his hair. Coming through the hair, rinses it off, back in the mouth, brushing the teeth. Is that not the weirdest thing you've ever heard? With the same toothbrush that he's having in his mouth, he's doing his hair. I just, I bet you that stems from a very, very young age. Because I don't know how old he is. He looks older than what he actually is. I know that. Uh, but that must stem from a young age from maybe not having a comb around or maybe he was in the military or something i would like to know where that habit came from and when he gets evicted from the house julie chin might ask him where did that come from because i would like to know where did that habit start you know where did you start doing that because that is other people do not do that there's nothing wrong with it but the I hate it. If I accidentally get a hair on my toothbrush, that's like the most repulsive thing ever. So I can't imagine doing that on purpose, running it through my hair and then sticking it in my mouth. That's just the last thing that I would ever do in the world. I hope everyone has a great week and I'll see you next week.